Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm going to look at a childhood collection right now. It was his stuff and his brother's stuff. Uh, heading over there to see what he has. He sent me a couple pictures um, and he told me he had a bunch of video game stuff. So stay tuned. We'll see what we get. And yeah, and I'll do a recap at the end as per usual and I'll try to get what footage I can. He's a friend of mine, so um, I don't think it'll be weird with me having the camera out since he knows what I do. So, stay tuned. If you guys haven't already, smash that like button. Comment down below what you like as we go along. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Bye-bye! What's going on, everybody? I just want to show you the pickups I got from my buddy. Uh, I didn't get any footage at his house because when we first kind of looked through everything, we were just all over the place. So, um, I went and picked it up last like a week ago uh but i'm just finally getting to kind of get to everything and look for everything i got a toy show coming up so i want to be able to move some of this stuff and uh yeah so real quick it was really cool um he called me told me he's got stuff it's just kind of collecting dust and he's getting rid of it uh so i went over i checked everything out he had some cool stuff stuff i didn't even realize he had and one of the pictures he had sent me i saw this guy um which i'll get to that in a minute but uh, we went over, and for now, basically, I bought his G.I. Joe stuff, um, some vintage Star Wars stuff, and a couple other things. Um, nothing super crazy. He's going to get more, and we're just going to kind of take our time, and when he's ready to move his stuff, he's going to let me know. He's got video game stuff. He's got other toys he's got to get from his parents, uh, his mom's house, um, which is pretty close. So, you know, but anyways, for now, this is what I got. Uh, so this was kind of like a throw-in at the end A uh, bunch of vintage Star Wars figures. None of them are complete. Most of them actually don't even have accessories A couple of them, you know have like their you know headdresses like these guys do, but nobody's got like their guns or anything but like These are pretty nice shape. No real paint wear Super nice a couple bike bike yeah, biker guys biker guys, but everybody loves the Ewok. So those are nice to have um Get rid of any guard. There's some weapons in the bottom there, but they're all modern weapons. So I don't know if at some point he had some modern stuff because there's a modern R2 here. Um, but aside from that, everything else is vintage. It's just nice stuff to have, nice fodder. Um, usually this stuff I sell pretty cheap. Um, but the other stuff is here. <laughs> so G.I. Joe wise is some really good stuff. Um, some of it was complete, some of it wasn't. I have a lot of accessories to try and help complete a lot of this. Um, he already knew that going into this, and he was happy with what I paid. I was happy with what I got it for. Um, so some stuff like this is really cool is Lightfoot. Um, Lightfoot, that's not Lightfoot. Why did I say that? Uh, <laughs> he's got the bipod there, which is awesome. Um, and... This guy, I actually might keep this one and upgrade mine, but this beachhead is got his crotch intact, but he's super, super clean. Um, a lot of these, I had even mentioned to him how clean they were, and he said uh, most of them were his brothers, because he's a couple years younger than me. Most of the stuff was his brothers, and he wasn't allowed to play with it unless his brother was around, so uh, basically a lot of it kind of went right back away, and... Yeah, so, <laughs> some reason there's two Baronesses, but, um, you know, there's like the version 2 snake, version 1.5 snake eyes, there's a version 2 snake eyes, which I have to fix, um, Spirit is in pretty nice shape, he's just missing a thumb, which I think I might have a spare arm for, but, you know, and then like, a Viper with no marks on his face at all, it's super, super clean, um, and then some other stuff. Unfortunately, didn't have the original uh, walkie-talkie for Firefly, but he had a walkie-talkie, so I just threw it with him. Uh, Mail-away fridge, just some parts and pieces to figures that weren't there. Um, he said his mom, like I said, had sold a bunch of stuff at one point, so unfortunately there's some stuff that I'll have pieces for that won't be here. Uh, this one was cool, the Outback, and he has the... Um, the little flashlight was in his leg when we found him. So that's cool. So he's nice and complete. That's a nice figure. The mind bender is super nice. He's all complete. Um, 
and then I'll see what I have to complete these guys. But the best pieces out of the lot was actually one of the things is this guy, the Colorforms playset is still factory sealed. I tried to clean off some, some of the stuff had some pretty good like dust on it just from sitting over the years. Um, that's a really cool piece. I'm probably going to sell it. Um, I don't know. I, I was debating on keeping it just because how old it is. It's actually 1982, if you guys can see there. Um, but, I mean, with my insane collection behind me here, um, it would fit in quite nicely, as you could tell. But, um, I don't know. It's not. I'm trying to stick to the figures and get rid of like the excess stuff that... Um, isn't figures but he had a couple carded figures so this is where the nicer stuff comes in the countdown is a, obviously a very meh figure um carded he goes for like 20 to 30 bucks uh and it's very funny because i actually just picked another one up of countdown so i now have two carded <laughs> of that same countdown the headhunter stormtrooper was awesome um it reminded me that when i got back into gi joe's he was one of the first ones i picked up carded because i found it at uh, rhode island toy um Rhode Island Comic Con for eight bucks, but it was before the GI Joe boom and anybody really cared, especially about the later stuff. But that's a nice piece that goes for like I think sixty to seventy now. It's got some issues on the card, but nothing super crazy. I love the old uh, stickers, by the way; those are awesome. And then this piece here. So I posted this on one of the local uh, local one of the Facebook GI Joe sites I'm on, and I've gotten like twenty to thirty messages about it. Uh, I was trying to get an idea of what it's worth. I actually just cleaned it up and Kate took off all the caked on dust and dirt and it came out so much nicer. I'll see if I can get an old pic to show you against it. But I mean, even with the card top being cut off, um, it's still a really nice piece and there's still a real lot of people that are very interested in this. So um, I was debating on whether I was going to keep it or not. This was the only thing that when I made my offer... I told them I wasn't sure about because they're still quote unquote mint on card, but the card is obviously damaged because it was cut and you know, it's got some crushing on it. I'm trying to figure out an actual value. Um, there's a lot of people online have been offering me quite a bit of money for it. Um, obviously not as high as the mint stuff goes for. If this was mint on card, still really nice shape, like the whole card itself, it can go up to $1,500. So Obviously, I'm not looking for that. That's not what it's worth. Um, anything's really only worth what people are willing to pay for it. But I'm going to put it out at the toy show this weekend and see what people think. So, but that's it. So, that's why you tell friends eh, about stuff that you get. Oh, yeah. He also threw in a random video game at the end when we made our, our purchase, uh, Final Fantasy Legend 2. So, there's that. <laughs> but this is why you tell friends about what you do. You collect toys or you just buy toys to flip. He knew I was a big G.I. Joe guy and that I bought sold toys for a living and he let me know that this is some stuff he's got so you know cool but if you're watching thank you very much uh guys i appreciate the support on the new channel we're getting really close to 100 subscribers on spruch 2.0 so i'm glad you guys enjoy the toy stuff um flea market just opened last sunday so we're going to be getting a lot more of this coming up so um, i'm going to still try to do at least one video a week you know, and if I have more content to do more, I will do more. I'll do uh, shorts when I can. So, uh, but that's it. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.